And we are already at episode three. Weeks go by that quick. Jeez, episode one was like, what, yesterday? It feels like it's going by too fast. And, oh boy, I don't think this is the most controversial episode in many means necessary, but it's definitely the, the, the point where the show differentiates a lot from the game, but at the same time also keeps some of the heart from the game in it. But at the end of the day, how does this affect the overall show? And that's where it's like, okay, they could have done a lot more with the ending based on so much of the backstory that they built around Bill and Frag. And this review is going to be a bit spoilerish, but at this point, I think everybody's seen it, so probably won't matter. But just letting you know. Now, if you played the game, you know Ellie and Joel. They reach a point where Bill comes save them. And that whole sequence, I do wish they had it in the episode in some way or form. But that's towards the end of the episode. I think they should have made a different decision. I mean, if you're going to differentiate from the game, might as well go ahead and include Bill and Frank going forward. You're already doing that. You're building the story around them which is a beautiful story in its own. But let's get back to the game for a second. So that sequence where he's hanging upside down, if you played it, and Bill comes in like a heroic person that saves the day, that whole thing was on your feet, some suspenseful stuff. They could have done this here, especially that they built the story. Now, in the game, Frank just leaves and dies, and you only see a letter from him left for Bill. If he ever finds that letter, saying like how he doesn't listen, da da do, and he's on his own. Here, though, they went a different route. They actually show Bill is this kind of a survivalist. He's kind of learned to just be on his own, defend himself, and he's built this territory around him. And they also brought in like Joel and Tess as early, and how they like came to be as a group like how they came together how they came to know each other that was like i think a really interesting thing is like that actually built upon what the relationship was shown in the game it's like and I, it goes back to that line where joel says to bill in the game it's like remember i did you a favor and it's like oh yeah that was a favor and like yeah and it, you kind of see that here is like where bill it listens to Joel, like, tell him, like, dude, one day raiders are gonna come get you, and you need these defenses to kind of go up, and this relationship can work. We can give and take, and we can make this work, and that, I think, was great, because you actually see how that relationship came to be. Now, the best part about this episode was the relationship between Bill and Frank, and it, the gay couple, and it's done beautifully from start to the end how they meet how everything comes to be the romance the whole episode between these two characters were actually very well done the problem is at the end and i have a problem with it and i think it's more of personal taste you built this relationship you're shown so much and you're deviating from the game and you know whereas like frank was just mentioned you're deviating from that you're actually building up the relationship what they should have done at the end is that when Joel and Ellie are about to reach their location, something happens. And we see that scene from the game. And Bill and Frank together come up. They help Joel. They help Ellie. And now they're kind of going on that, the next episode adventure that happens in the game where finally Bill goes their own way. And, you know, uh, Joel and Ellie are their own way. They could have done that. Instead of with the decision they made, all of a sudden, like, oh, Frank is all of a sudden ill, and then Bill decides he's going to go with him. And that whole sequence and how they decide, and they finally get married, and they finally have, like, this dinner as a couple, the last dinner, and before they they do the goodbye thing, it was all very teary, and it, it actually makes you weep. So it because... The relationship and everything, it's so natural, it's done beautifully, the scenes between them, so well done. And you can tell why that character, this kind of a character, would become the character that Bill is in the game. It's like this heartless kind of thing, what he went through. And you can see that backstory here. But then they kind of just let that go. And like, okay, we're going to let these both these characters die. And I was like, 
why not actually build upon it? Since you actually have this backstory done and it's beautiful and it's some of the best TV you can see, like in terms of how character stories can be built and this beautiful. And then you just kind of don't do anything with it. Oh yeah, like Joel and Ellie got some weapons and they got a car and they had a, they get a battery. All right, okay, but they could have done that if he was alive. So it's like by them dying, what does it do for the characters? Like, why did we do all of this if in the end they're not included more? And that's my issue with it. And probably it's going to be different feelings on this one. But I do feel like especially with what they've done and the story that they did and how it worked and it worked beautifully, they could have kept these characters. If you're differentiating from the game, might as well go the full route and go ahead and do this. And that's the part I just didn't understand. It's like they could have done so much more, especially with a story like this. Keep Bill as a character. Let them go on and the adventure with uh, Joel and Ellie and, you know, and actually build upon that. And that would have been amazing to see the world through Bill's eyes now, now that he's finally left that place and he's with frank he's now he got a chance to do more good out there you know it would have been so good to see that them going in that adventure and maybe eventually something happening and that's that but it just felt like they did all this and in the end of the day it was a beautiful story but it was a story of its own rather than really really pushing the main story into a certain direction like if it didn't happen or what would have changed you know if they kept them alive it's they could still be that same story so that's my take on it that it was beautifully done the backstory of it they did the, the change and it worked but for the story and where it's heading they could have used the characters more so that's kind of my take i don't went on a rampage but it was still a great episode what was your take on this one? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you all soon. Until then, ta-da, a cow.